Namaskar from Janavar. Um, we are a pure play, affordable housing, and an innovative technology construction technology company. Uh, we've already delivered close to 2,000 homes in Bangalore and Ahmedabad. And affordability is our guiding principle. And affordability to us means homes that are the highest quality and the lowest life cycle cost and affordable to begin with. Affordability uh, to us also means simplicity. Simplicity means that people have to spend the least amount of resources on maintaining their communities. And in our experience, STPs are extremely, extremely uh, cost and resource uh, intensive uh, facilities. And they're essential. So in our uh, research, what we found out was a lot of the communities actually stopped using mechanical STPs because of the high maintenance cost and also running costs. And we came across this solution that was close to zero maintenance and zero energy footprint. Uh, we delved deeper into it. Um, we saw projects that have been running for years and that just was like music to our ears. And uh, we thought this is something that we got to use. We did extensive engineering uh, uh, meetings with the EcoSTP team. They were extremely transparent and gave us all the information we required. And it just made sense. Uh, and now we've standardized EcoSTPs across all our projects. STPs have been a, been a concern area for us. Uh, mechanical STPs have a lot of machine parts, a lot of moving parts, a lot of maintenance. And uh, like I said, heavy electricity bills, maintenance costs. So, and affordable communities don't have the luxury of a lot of money floating around to run these. So we were looking for uh, a solution to these. And obviously lots of resistance, even from internal teams, wherein you say, how can this work? Something that gets done with so much equipment, how can just a civil structure do this based on gravity? Uh, but, you know, life is really quite simple. If you uh, are open to learnings and open to new information. So the question really is, we would have found something because there was enough material uh, available internationally that there are STP solutions that are based on biomimicry for the for that matter. So <clears throat> we would have we would have kept looking, but we were lucky we found them, and we were lucky we found projects in Bangalore that have been using this uh, concept for I think three years when we went to see them. The decision of going with Eco STP wasn't a very easy or a straightforward decision. Uh, you know, it was the right decision, but you know, it comes with heavier capital cost, and for affordable housing projects, cost is a huge concern. And in my limited experience, I think cost is a concern no matter what. Uh, so I think there is a lot that can be done to promote technologies like the Eco STP that are sustainable. Uh, that are the need of the hour for uh, the Indian context because we are growing and our need to create uh, communities, residential communities, urban, suburban, is just going through the roof. Uh, so I think the government needs to come in to incentivize uh, companies that are promoting such solutions. I'm not just saying about eco STP. Any other company that is doing work, good work in this space, wherein uh, there is sustainable solutions with uh, zero or minimal uh, carbon footprint. They need to be promoted by the government and also promoted by entrepreneurs because that's the only way we will change the world for the better. Otherwise, the kind of problems we're dealing with right now, I mean, like Bangalore itself deals with a lot of pollution, especially the water bodies. And I, we all have to play a part. And I think that's Janadhar's way of saying that we care and we are going to use solutions that are more sustainable.